morning to the students i am anshu ma'am your science teacher so today i am going to start the next chapter of chemistry chapter 4 sorting material into groups first of all i am going to explain you about materials materials are used to make different kinds of things or objects we see many materials around us like wood steel etc so materials are used to make different kinds of things or objects for example wood chairs tables bed doors windows etc are made up of wood now steel steel is used to make knives utensils cars buildings etc plastic it is also a type of material which is used for making chairs tables utensils toys etc cotton cotton is also a material which is used to make clothes which we wear all materials are alike materials they occupy space and have mass so next term which is very very important that is matter matter the definition is written here anything that occupies the space and has mass is known as matter elements it is a very new term for you all element it is a substance like iron gold etc which are made up of one kind of atom is called elements once again i am repeating element substances like iron gold etc which is made up of one kind of atom is known as elements compound substances like water the formula of water is h2o which are made up of two more elements are known as compounds so compound is a combination of two or more than two elements for example water the formula of water is h2o it is made up of two elements hydrogen and oxygen now atom atom is the smallest particle of an element but molecule it is the smallest particle of compound there are total 100 Seventeen different elements around us. Classification. Let's discuss about the new term that is classification. Classification. The definition is written here. I'm going to explain you the definition of classification. Grouping together things with similar properties is known as classification. Yes, dear students, we classify different objects on the basis of their properties. what is the advantage of this classification some advantages of classification are it saves our time when we classify things when we group things into different categories when we arrange things into different categories then it makes very easy to find us on time so advantage of classification is that when we are finding the particular object when we need that object okay i it will get very soon we'll find it very soon second advantage it saves our time also and it looks very very nice and beautiful so these are some benefits of classification now grouping things in with similar properties is called classification living things are also categorized are also classified like plants and animals plants and animals living things are grouped into plants and another category as animals Again, the plants are classified into flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Similarly, animals are grouped into different criteria. Number one is insects, second is reptiles, third is fishes, fourth is birds, and fifth one is mammals. So this way we can classify living things into plants and animals. Again, plants can be divided into flowering and non-flowering. and animals can be divided into insects reptiles fishes birds mammals etc now properties of materials materials can be classified on the basis of their appearance luster texture state etc let's discuss the first appearance appearance means how do they look we see paper wood iron steel etc around us they all look different from each other this is called appearance so materials can be classified on the basis of appearance how they look luster the second one is luster how they shine 
Suppose Aaron is not very luscious, but steel is luscious, gold is luscious. Some things shine, some things do not shine. Wood do not shine, but Aaron has little bit luster, and gold is very luscious. So some materials have a particular luster. Metals have luster, but non-metals do not have luster. Third is texture, whether the material is hard or smooth. When we touch the objects, what do we feel? Whether it is hard like wood or stone or whether it is a smooth like cotton ball or silk. So, this is texture. And the fourth criteria is a state. Materials can be classified on the basis of the state. There are three different types of state of materials. Solid liquid and gases. For example, solid, wood, stone, etc. are solid objects. Liquid, water, milk, oil, etc. are liquid and oxygen, hydrogen, these all are gases. This way students, today I have explained you about materials, its uses, elements, compounds, atom, molecules, classification, its advantages, and the properties of materials. So, let's study. Study at home. Be safe at home. Watch the next video. Till then, have a nice day. Thank you.